one. Create a new one. Create a new one on plus symbol. Yeah. <coughs> Click on statement. And say import. Uh, now click uh, on the drop down. Yes. Say dynamic insert. So here you have dynamic insert, dynamic update, delete. And standard insert is normal queries, normal select queries without importing the profile. If you have to give normal select statements. And stored procedure ID is a stored procedure. Okay. A dynamic insert, update, and delete are something like you are importing the profile which are already created in the database. Okay. Yeah. Please click on import now. Add them. Select. Select the connection. Um, go with and select the connection. We shouldn't yeah. have repeated connections. Connection should always be only one. When it is referring to the same connection details, it should be only one. Connection. Yeah. Select it. Drop down is not showing. There you have set search button search button okay. yeah next So the down one. And so it dis displays all the tables that are there in the database. So select the SF underscore account table. Next. And the profile will be imported when we do this. Select Set all. Up. Yeah. So give a database profile name. Give the naming conventions. Yeah, save and close. So we have imported the profile here. Okay. okay. <coughs> yeah, in database operation also, uh, I mean, give a proper con naming convention. So the target system and the source system are now uh, connected. Connected in the sense uh, we have created both the connections. Don't give the connection between those. Now we have to build up the integration. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. So now what we have to do? The uh, source profile is sending, the source connection is giving an XML profile. And we need to convert that to database uh, to database profile in order to place it into database. So select the map, place a map, and give in source profile the Salesforce uh, profile.
create new profile or I choose a SEF database? Not profile? database, right? Not database. XML profile. From source you are getting the XML profile. From Salesforce you are getting XML profile. And so you need to have XML profile. In the profile type drop down near database. Right. Yeah, XML. XML profile. Not that I guess, no, SF underscore account underscore query underscore response. Yeah. So now on the destination side, choose uh, the database profile. Uh, th this resource, remember when we create a response query, I, that day we use one response query. This is the one Shanti. That day yeah, the, the, the same. Time. Yes, yes, Kamlesh. We have used the same operation you have seen now, right? We have removed just correct. the filters. Correct, correct. Yeah. It's database. It should be database. Go, Pichan. Okay. Yeah. The download. Yes. And now what we do? Since there are many fields, we go for Boomi suggest. Okay. Yeah. Done, right? Yes. Okay. So now uh, name that map and save and close. Connect the three components. Place end also. Stop shape. Now if you go to database and say select star from SF underscore account, you will be having zero records. So zero records, right? Zero rows. Yeah. So now yes. execute the process. And open your Salesforce also. Please open your Salesforce.
So Shanti, mm -hmm. uh, in the in, in real time, mm -hmm. so we uh, for our uh, training, mm -hmm. we connected this destination system is MySQL database, Can. and you created it. You created a custom table, account table, SF account table. Okay. But what happened in but what happened in real time? Mm -hmm. uh, just uh, correlating. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you will connect SAP. SAP has that uh, standard table, uh, whatever HR tables. Okay. So uh, uh, let's say if I am connecting my employment data, so I will connect uh, employee information into the SAP tables. Correct. Correct. That is correct. So now you have checked in your table. So mm -hmm. that table is showing zero value. Okay. Now. Uh, similar fashion after building the connection, if I mm -hmm. check in the SAP database, mm -hmm. there won't be any information. Yes. So once you run the process, mm -hmm. start pulling the information, extract mm -hmm. it, uh, your, uh, what do you call your uh, uh, query, start allowing to extract the data and send it to uh, 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 SQL database, correct? Yes, correct. Correct. So what will happen in real time uh, if, if, as we are modifying it? <coughs> Suppose few fields are modified as we have seen a condition the other day. So in that way you place the condition and yeah. since it is, if it is an insert, if that record is already existing, we have to send it to insert operation and if that record doesn't exist, we have to go for update operation. Uh, sorry, if it exists, you go for update operation and if it doesn't exist, you go for insert operation. You remember uh, Shanti that day we, we chat about one scenario having a three legacy system, okay. three ERP and one uh, one uh, cloud system and one integration uh, middleware. Yes. So when you send when you send your MC, okay. After this, uh, we will discuss that one. Okay, sure.